we simply have to prepare uh, for more floods this winter and a huge a huge amount of energy and effort is going into that right now so i think 2.6 billion uh, has been committed by this government to to flood defenses and as i say i mean i think yeah look i'm not going to minimize the impact on anybody who has suffered damage to their home from from flooding um but i really do pay tribute to the work of the emergency services uh the the police the fire brigade everybody who's who's been involved and the envir- and also the environment agency and you know i just i just think we have to recognize that uh the ground is now waterlogged across large parts of the country and it's not just in uh in nottinghamshire uh, and derbyshire and, and south yorkshire you know which may be getting a bit of a temporary uh respite though we can't be we can't be sure in the next few weeks and months the, the rainfall could cause flooding uh, in many parts of the country and we simply have to be prepared and we are certainly putting the resources into it and if if you, since you've raised politics uh, and the, p- the political situation that we're in it's only by having a, a robust uh, government and a robust economy that's able to uh, finance fantastic infrastructure that you're able you're able actually to invest uh, in uh, long-term funding for uh, flood defences as well as infrastructure, to say nothing of spending on the NHS and, and everything else. So, 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 so since, you, since you raise a political uh, point, Carl, I, I, I must respond to that. The question is whether the flood money is going to the right places. Yes. Your opponents say it's skewed towards the south well, east and not enough is going to the areas that have been affected this time. The, the, the fu- no, of course, that's, the, the flood defences are... Uh, the whole country is, is protected. There's, uh, I don't know what, where that idea uh, comes from.